Last week on Trove One, we traveled to Bird's Adventure Center for the Rendezvous in the Ozarks 2020. While there, we enjoyed learning about overlanding, seeing other people's rigs, and exploring the surrounding area. After the rendezvous, we began our trek home. We decided to take the back roads and enjoy some scenery along the way. This allowed us to test the capabilities of our rig while towing the camper. Careful, kids. Get in, no, sir. Don't touch. We just left Union School, and we're trying to figure out where we're going to go next. I think we're going to jump on over to some other places. We're going to go and skip some of the Ozark Overland Adventure Trail because we don't really have much time or enough time. So that's probably what we're going to do.
have a bluff line up here off to the side of the road. And there's also some waterfalls and stuff you can hike to and hike along the bluff line. It's some of these areas. Uh, we've been out there a few times before. But it's just beautiful and the fall colors are spectacular right now. You get glimpses of the valley surrounding the creek and then the creek and then the mountains on the other side. And then the whole time you're meandering down this winding dirt road with the beautiful fall colors as well. So we should be coming up at Car Wash Falls here pretty quick. So just a, a great spot. Really pretty. It's been foggy up in the hills. Hopefully it's not too bad up on Pilot Knob, but we'll see. We're up here at Pilot's Knob. And oh, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is a pretty good little rock ledge here. I don't know, I'm gonna see if there's anybody up here. If there's anybody up on top, I can't get the camper up here and turn it around, so Let's see if there's anybody up here before I try driving up here. I don't know if I need to drive up that anyway. Pretty, pretty steep and rocky for doing that thing. This is a little opening up here. So you can see there's not, not a whole lot of space. But there's nobody up here, so I may go drive on up 
or attempt to. It's kind of overgrown, so it's really a little bit hard to see unless you get up here on your vehicle or something. You can climb up on top of your vehicle and see how the view a little bit better. But this this point sticks up here pretty high. It's a, a neat place. And from the road down there, it has some really good views as well. It's pretty hazy, so and it's been foggy all day. It's really not that foggy right now, but it's still overcast and hazy and stuff. So the, you can't see the colors as, quite as well as I hoped. But I know there's a lot out there because all the trails we've been on, roads, the color has been beautiful. I don't know if it's quite peak yet, but it's probably not too far off. It's been a lot of fun driving around and seeing some of these places. So I'm gonna walk back down. We'll see what we can do here. There's really no reason to drive up there, but I kinda wanna try and see if I can, just for future reference. Might wanna camp up here sometime. But yeah, I don't know about this ledge right here. Really can't tell in the video, but that is a pretty steep little spot. And this, this is kind of a hole right here. I have to kind of hang to the, the left side of this to keep from dropping and bottoming out on this rock. I can drive up it without a trailer without much issue, but with the trailer, I don't know. Well, we made it up. There she is up here on top. That was a little sketchy. I'll say that much. I can, I know I can do it now, but I don't know if I will again. We'll see. You never know what I'll feel like the next time we're up here. Anyway, we're up here. We're gonna sit around for a little while and we're gonna slide our way back down and head home. Looking forward to getting home. It's been a fun trip, but looking forward to getting home too. So.
Well, we made it home. Or I'll say that was a pretty good trip. Had fun at the rendezvous, then got to the day was a blast getting to pull some of those trails and and drive those. Saw some really pretty areas and really got to push the limits on the trailer. Um, it did it did great, but we were to give me a better idea after last weekend and now this weekend pulling the trailer on some of these dirt roads. Uh, pushed it a lot further as far as what it's capable of and i've got a pretty good idea now of what i can and can't do with it so one of the reasons we do this uh, is just because we have we enjoy it we have fun and we don't just drive we love hiking like today we were driving down some of these roads and there's these places where i know there's waterfalls and pretty creeks to hike up. i'm like man i wish we had more time we'd go we go hit up some of those places and go hiking because it's just beautiful there's so much to see in the ozarks it's just it's like an endless array of places you can go so right now it's dry there's not much in the waterfalls but the, the creeks were beautiful all the rocks the leaves on them right now oh, it's just it's gorgeous but we love taking love doing it love taking the kids with us a lot of people say you can't do anything with kids you're tied down you can't do it's a bunch of baloney you can do pretty much whatever you want with kids obviously safety is a big factor and we have to be careful what we do sometimes with them but you can do stuff with kids. You may do it a little differently. It may look a little differently. You may drive a goofy camper around like this um, instead of an awesome Jeep if you got four kids. But uh, you can definitely do stuff with kids. You just have to want to and to want to spend the time with them. And um, and that's part of why we do this because it's fun. And we hope to encourage other families to get out and do stuff. I mean, it's just there's so much out there and so much. God's creation is just amazing and beautiful. And it's it's fun to see fun to explore and it's, i think it's good for for us to do it's just good for the soul but it's good for the kids so that's part of the reason we're doing this hopefully we can encourage um, some families to get out and explore with your kids go do something maybe push the limits a little bit you know don't do anything dangerous but uh go have some fun and go explore maybe a little less scream time and a little more outside time kids these days are just wrapped up in video games and tv and just get them outside let their let their minds run wild a little bit let them play in the dirt our kids are laying around playing in the dirt all weekend having fun um you know that's that's good for them it's good for their mental development good for their imagination and they have fun doing it too you know let kids be kids they, they love doing stuff like that they don't need 24 7 entertainment it's just not necessary but anyway enough of that we had a good time and uh we'll see you next time